There are two methods for installing the free version of PyMall on Linux. In the first, executable code is installed directly in the form of binary packages. In the second, source code is compiled on your system to produce the executable. In this session, I'll illustrate both approaches using Ubuntu 11.10 as a distribution. Because of the popularity of PyMall, Installing on many Linux distributions is as easy as using the built-in package manager. You can access the package manager on Ubuntu by selecting the Ubuntu Software Center from the launcher. To find a PyMall package, enter PyMall into the search field and press return. To install PyMall, press install and give your password. We'll go ahead and speed up the installation. Now close the software center and click on the dash home icon. To find PyMall, do a text search through the interface. You can test your installation by loading one of the demos from the wizard menu. You can add PyMall to dash by dragging it from the search panel. Although using a package manager is convenient, it won't always give you the most recent version of PyMall or give you access to all features. To be completely up to date and have the most flexibility, it may be better to install from source. Begin by making sure your packages are up to date. Next, install the basic dependencies. Now, install PyMall specific dependencies. The authoritative repository for PyMall source is hosted on SourceForge. Browse to the project page and download the most recent source files. Go ahead and save to your downloads directory. Now change into your downloads directory and extract the archive. Change into the PyMall directory. The source documentation gives pretty good instructions on installation from here. Start by running the build script. Next, run the install script. You may need root privileges to do this. The install script actually comes in two parts. Be sure to run the second part. At this point, you should be able to run PyMall from the command line. Your copy of PyMall should be capable of running a demo. You may want to give yourself the ability to run PyMall from any directory. Start by finding a good place to put your compiled PyMall program. I like to put my compiled binaries into a directory called local. Next, update your bash rc file. You should now be able to run the PyMall command from any directory. You can install PyMall on Linux from either a package manager or by compiling from source. Installing from a package manager will get you up and running the fastest, but compiling from source will give you the most flexibility. Now that we have a working PyMall installation, let's explore the user interface in the next series of lessons.